going on guys? My name is Joe Anklum if you're unfamiliar with the channel and today's video is going to be short and sweet. I'm going to probably throw over some training footage and just let me talk to you guys very quickly about a topic that I think a lot of you can benefit from hearing about and you guys might be confused on in general and that's going to be deload weeks. If you are unfamiliar with what a deload week is, it's basically a week or a time period in your lifting and I say time period because some people like myself do not take a full week and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. Basically a deload week is a time in your lifting where you're taking a break, giving your body a break is a better way to say it, but you're not taking off from the gym itself. So. That might be confusing if you've never heard of a deload, and if you have heard of a deload, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, but you probably have a little bit different of definition than what might, what um, somebody else might have as a definition of a deload week. Basically, what you're doing is, in my definition of a deload week, is going in the gym, doing exactly what you would normally be doing in terms of lifts, and even accessory work for that matter, and this is why, where it kind of differs for a lot of people, and you're doing that at what you consider maybe a uh, 50 or 60% of the one rep max um, on each exercise. So you're still greasing the grooves as I like to say, you're still working on the movements, working on the technique, and you are just doing it at a lower percentage than you normally would, a much lower percentage. So. That is what I've typically heard as a deload week, what I've typically seen that people do and what I've seen a lot of people kind of do once they feel either fatigued when they're going to the gym and by fatigue I don't just mean normal tired, I'm saying weights that you're normally moving and you're supposed to be moving for um, clean 3 reps, clean 5 reps, etc. You're struggling to hit them, they're kind of grindy and you've either lost your desire to go to the gym and you're someone who really enjoys it typically and those are just some typical signs of needing to deload and um, getting back to what I was saying earlier I typically will not take a full week in deload I'll do what I like to call deload workouts and it's pretty much what you kind of imagine it would be you're basically taking one workout and for whatever reason I typically will feel what I was mentioning before, kind of lackadaisical, just very tired, run down in the lift itself, not just in general when I'm saying those adjectives. I don't mean in general, I just mean during the lift itself. I typically will feel that in one lift more than others. So a lot of times either it would be my lower body, and recently it's been my upper body just because I've really been trying to work on my bench. So being that that is the case, if my upper body, my bench itself isn't feeling the greatest, I will just take my next bench workout Instead of going heavy trying to progress, I will go real light, 50, um, 60, sometimes 70%, which is a little bit higher than I was mentioning earlier, and I'll really just work on how the lift is moving in terms of speed, and I'm not so much worrying about the weight at all, just really dropping the ego, which I'm also going to be talking about in a recent upcoming video, and um, just how about less is more in terms of training weight and how you can get stronger using less weight and moving it more effectively, but I digress. So if you are feeling beat up, don't feel like you need to take a full week. Try maybe a workout or two, especially on the body parts that you're actually feeling the most fatigued in, in those specific movements. Take that specific workout and utilize it in a very specific way. So work on your speed of those reps. Yes, you're not moving the same amount of weight that you would be, but you can move that weight faster, or you should be anyways. And uh, this is actually going to carry over very heavily to those optimal weights and those weights that are closer to your one rep max. So use these workouts and benefit from them and also give your body a break in the process. So don't feel like you need to take a full week. Don't feel like you need to stick to one specific definition of a deload. Do what works best for you. Take them when you need to. And like me, I'm very stubborn when it comes to taking them and I probably should take them more often, but I just enjoy training so much that I really have to listen to my body, and when my body's telling me to take them is when I really will actually utilize them. And um, that could be good or bad both, by, both ways, but it is what it is. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. Hopefully you can take a little bit, some, take a little bit from this. Um, but thank you guys for watching as always. Tried to keep it short and sweet for you guys, and um, I will be talking to you very soon. Hopefully you enjoyed the training footage as well, and thank you again for watching. Subscribe, like if you enjoyed it, 
and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thing do the talking for me. Yeah, stay pot even yep. if so you, you get a hater. Yeah, bound to happen. I'd hate, but nothing but positive vibes and help those people who are who they don't know. For you know, sure. Lock your hips to be foreign to them. So yep. like, help them out. You know, if, they, if, they'll, if they're willing to accept yeah. it. But yeah. I always appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, it's great. Good you to guys see you guys. Here. I was gonna say, I told him, I was gonna say, you guys got a new camera. I'll come out and do some more, yeah, do some more yeah, filming yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Do a That'd be fun. Like Hell yeah. That. Do some more box jumps or whatever. Oh, yeah. Get some Spread cool shit. Vibes, man. Hell yeah. You guys in here. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. You as well. Thank you guys. Have a good one.